Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Just Cause 3 is crammed with easter eggs, cultural references, memes and other secrets. On your way to the Platinum Trophy, here's 33 moments we think you should witness for yourself. The first easter egg is found in Viso Platessa in the Trio region. This may take a little finding, but behind a small salmon pink building is a section of the ruins with a small handgun on top. This is the DK pistol. Picking it up will instantly cause your head to expand. The gun itself doesn't harm anyone it shoots, but instead increases their head size, kind of like a balloon. The real WTF moment comes when you decide to kill one of these balloon people. Because I love this so much, I'm going to keep DK mode on for the entire video. By the way, the DK pistol is a callback to the N64 and Goldeneye, where DK mode could be unlocked, making all characters resemble, you've guessed it, Donkey Kong. So it's kinda like two easter eggs in one here. Up at the intersection of Grande Pastura and Falco is a nerve jangling easter egg referencing Doctor Who and the Weeping Angels. In the middle of what looks like a sacrificial altar are four angel statues. Here's the issue, they can and will move closer to you. In the TV show, a simple blink or split second turn was enough for a weeping angel to murder its prey. Leave the area and come back if you want the angels to reset their positions. At three spots around the island are what look like missile silos. Each has a set of buttons close by. These are in fact wormholes to travel around the map. The code to Dracon is 214124, to get to Striate it's 143421 and to Fonte it's 233233. The teleportation device resembles a Stargate in the film or TV show of the same name. Travelling through time also resembles Doctor Who's intro sequence. Another film reference can be found in the most northwest part of the map. On a beach there is a bearded man living alone with only a yellow lifeboat and occasionally washed up packages. This mirrors the events of Castaway released back in 2000. I tried my best to find Wilson but he wasn't there. Wilson! Wilson! Another Nintendo reference can be found over by the Bavarium Nuke base in Falco. At the top of the hill there are two soapbox carts, one of which has your friend Mario in it ready to race. Mario in a cart. This must be a nod to Nintendo's leading man. By the way, liberate the area first or be prepared to avoid nukes and endless gunfire. The crash bomb levels have been built to resemble the DeLorean from Back to the Future. The car colour is randomised so hopefully you'll get a silver version and when the camera sits behind the vehicle the similarities are prominent. In this game you are tasked with blowing up an enemy stronghold, but there's one last nod to the Back to the Future series when lightning erupts from the explosions you cause. The Just Cause developers love the TV show Lost. In fact, in Just Cause 2 they made an island to reflect the happenings in the show, as well as another handful of easter eggs too. In Just Cause 3 the Lost references are back and come in the shape of the smoke monster. I stopped watching Lost before the identity of the smoke monster was revealed, but I have seen its ability to kill someone by simply touching them. Back in game, it's a bit of a waiting game for the animations to trigger. First go over to the lake in Mayastale and search out a small group of people playing music and drinking. Leave them for the moment and you will find a fallen tree in the shape of an arrow and the word run in wooden planks. If you follow these instructions and run into the woods, you'll hear the smoke monster and if you get back to camp quick enough, you can witness everyone dying. Sadly I tried this for two hours and this was the best I could do. <sighs> Sorry. Other people believe looking onto the lake and waiting there for the sound trigger is the best approach, but that didn't work for me. A little further north of the Weeping Angels in Grande Pastora is a crater, but this crater has an easter egg stuck in it. Find the middle and you will discover Thor's hammer. Mjolnir. 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 Why, why can't I say that word? 
Thor's hammer. Let's just stay with that. This, of course, is a nod to the God of Thunder, Thor, and the Marvel movie version of him from the 2011 film. If you can cast your mind that far back, it's where a host of people attempt to lift the hammer, including Stan Lee. They all failed, of course. Did it work? A little side reference when Rico attaches an enemy to an object. He says, Stick around. In reference to Arnie and the film Predator. Yeah. Stick around. On the island to the south of the castaway easter egg, you can discover a cave in the shape of a face. This could be a reference to King Kong's Skull Island or Skull Rock from Peter Pan. My guess would be King Kong, but the latest film seems to have changed the cave designs, and now, instead of a spine-tingling scary sight, it's God, this. Honey. I can't figure out what this reminds me of. Wilson! Wilson! Whether through comic books, film, TV, deviant art, or Disneyland, there's a few variations to this design, but you get the idea. The comedy Arrested Development has an easter egg in Just Cause 3. The famous banana stand the family run is here in Medici. It was part of a long-running joke. Whenever Michael's father spoke about the stand, he would say, Always money in the banana stand. We don't have the money, Pop. Always money in the banana stand. After that banana stand was destroyed, he spelled it out a little more. There's $250,000 lining the walls of the banana stand. There's always money in the banana stand! Back in the game, you can destroy the stand too, and he was right. There is indeed money in that banana stand. Over in Massos, there's a tipping area by the side of the road. If you look hard enough, a small dog is there. He'll begin to follow you. If you can get him across the road and into his kennel, he'll reward you with doge mode. By the way, I tried my hardest to kill the little bugger, but he refused to be murdered. <laughs> when he's back home, pause the game and go to your options and you should now have the ability to turn on doge mode. Shooting enemies now pops up typical doge memes. I didn't understand this meme, so I must be getting old, so I'll let behind the meme explain. Right. Let's just say there's a heavy emphasis on the words much, very, so, such, and many, written in broken English as if the animal is speaking to himself in his head. Back in Regno, a curved building can be found with two ladies on the top floor. One is wearing a white and gold dress, the other a black and blue dress. This is a reference to the viral tweet sent out in which people couldn't decide if this dress was white and gold or black and blue. What do you say? Well, it turns out the dress was black and blue, so that was resolved. These ladies are no longer required. Up in the mountains of Montana is a Final Fantasy reference. Embedded in the rock's face is Cloud's Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, a pretty cool nod to the greatest PS1 game of all time. You can't make a video game these days without referencing Dark Souls. It's an unwritten rule. Just Cause 3 is no exception. On a hidden beach in North Cauda is a sniper rifle surrounded by a pile of wood. Get the right angle and you can ignite this bonfire just like those in Dark Souls. Back in Regno and hidden on the side of a building is a bit of graffiti which doesn't tie in with the rest of the game. This, in fact, is the logo of YouTuber NerdCubed, who was a huge supporter of the series. A nice touch there. To the south of the lost easter egg is a boring old landfill. Nothing to see here, right? Well, if you disrupt the waste, you'll be greeted by hundreds of copies of Just Cause and Just Cause 2. This is most likely a reference to the landfill in Mexico, which saw thousands of copies of the Atari title E.T. discarded after very poor sales. A cool little easter egg referencing The Simpsons can be found in Just Cause 3, but only when you board the train. Once you hop on board, open the world map and three new locations have been added. Brockway, North Haverbrook and Ogdenville. These are places the famous monorail put on the map, so I'm told. I've sold monorails to Brockway, Ogdenville and North Haverbrook and by gum it put them on the map. I travelled to each one of these new locations but nothing could be found there but many people have reported that a desirable heavy weapon and seaplane are available here. Just Cause isn't all about comedy references and video game trivia. It also gives its developers an outlet to honour the lives of loved ones. Four memorials can be found around the game world honouring friends and family. I'll put each of the locations in the description, so if you want to go pay your digital respects, the option's there. Just Cause 3 likes to reference the previous games in the series. For example, on a beach in Costa Sud is the snowman so... from Just Cause 2. We meet again, Mr. Snowman. 
Hello, Mr. Snowman. Remember the Mile High Club? Well, that balloon burst and the business sank. Quite literally. <laughs> Go over to the north of Maestrale and find the ruins both on top and below the water. I can almost hear that annoying tune that the Mile High Club played incessantly. In fact, it's in Just Cause 3. Either steal a propaganda van, or alternately go up to the ruins at Aspera and turn on the boombox. Just be careful, it's Airstrike City here. Fancy a rave? Well, on the top of the cliff in Laco is a party. It's only accessible during the night, so fast travel repeatedly if needs be. Here you'll find a familiar looking DJ. It's Bolo Santosi from Just Cause 2. She led the Reapers and now her war is over. She's moonlighting as a rave DJ. My name is Bolo Santosi. I am the leader of the revolutionary army known as the Reapers. That's not the only Easter egg at this rave. If he spawns in, you should be able to find a dancer wearing a green morph suit. This is a nod to the TV show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and the alter ego mascot created by Charlie Kelly. Here, just see for yourself. Man. Green man is saving your life right now, bro. Just go with the flow. There's a few puns I quite liked in Just Cause 3, such as the Just Claws restaurant in Libicio. There's also a reference to the developing studio making the game on many number plates, Avalanche. There's so many more weird, wonderful and random encounters happening all around the open world. In the Valdemar Lake, a couple of huge rubber ducks can be dragged into the water, making them rideable, similarly to a uh, jet ski, I suppose. In many locations, there are branded cows with blue horns, Target which means you can mount those green. if that's what you like to do with your spare time. In Regno, there's a pogo stick randomly left on a balcony for you to try out. And finally, in the woods at Sante Federico, there's a group of mime artists training to be the best like no one ever was. It's a very strange place to live in, this Medici place. So that's it, that's 33 little easter eggs and references for you to enjoy whilst playing Just Cause 3. This video has been so much fun to make, I'm hoping to bring back the monthly easter egg feature I used to have. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.